Hi guys, just a couple of ideas on Lark's tongues in Aspect 3, in the style of Robert Fripp and King Crimson. This first part uses fifths and fourths. So we have... Followed by an open string, and then fifths, F sharp, then A flat, then just going to G. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I start with alternate picking on a down stroke, followed by down, down, up. So it's like, and again, it's extremely fluent in the way that the picking works. Now this next part, I use alternate picking, but I start on the up stroke. And there's string skipping in this. This next part, I start with the up stroke again. and the upstroke again. So we have. Next we have alternate picking starting on a down stroke. Flat five. Purely for the sound. Finally we finish with an ascension using the pattern down, down, up. So we have In this first part, the chords are E flat second inversion over an A bass. This is to create the flat five sound, but also fretting the A and the 12th fret with two notes, D and then E. Next, we play this E flat chord, second inversion, but with the A in the treble. Back to the E flat. Lastly, we're going to use this shape for the sound entirely, which is C sharp to F sharp to C. Going to a B flat minor first inversion chord. Now we just repeat it down a semitone. So here it is slowly. What you will notice is that the next parts connect smoothly. This next part starts with an up stroke and it's an arpeggio of F. There's a bit of string skipping there and here too. So we have... Next we go up to D minor, up a semitone to E flat minor, and three notes landing on C.
Anyway, if this video was of any use, please smash the subscribe button because it keeps the channel going. Please click the like button, click the notification button, write a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you for watching.